All right. Welcome to Rent Ready, the all-in-one property management software. I want to first uh, cover our pricing model, and then I'm going to go through the entire program, starting from the um, beginning of the life of a tenant, moving forward. All right. So the first thing, obviously, pricing. We have three different pricing plans. We have monthly, half year, and yearly. Monthly is $20 a month. Half year is $90, that breaks down to $15 a month. And the yearly plan is just 108 bucks, breaks down to nine bucks a month. So the first thing you wanna do is list your property so you can find those potential tenants. In order to list through Rent Ready, it's literally one click of a button. It'll instantly post to realtor.com and doorsteps, as well as the rentready.com posting. This is going to be the URL that you're going to be able to copy and post to anywhere else that you'd like to additionally. Facebook Marketplace, lots of social media, Craigslist. Um, from here, tenants have the availability to pre-qualify or apply directly through the app. If you would like to have them pre-qualify, you just make sure that checkbox is marked there. If you would like them to pre-qualify, what that is is a quick 15 question survey. It's just gonna give you the basics about a potential renter. Name, contact info, how many people live there, do they have pets, do they smoke, any felonies, and how much money do they make? From here, you can accept, reject, or request an update. Any of these will pre-populate an email that you can edit. Um, that are customized to the appropriate response. Obviously, if you're accepting, congrats. You can schedule a time to view the unit and then they can now apply. If you don't wanna have your potential tenants do the 15 question sur survey, they would instead just go to applying. Applications look like this. Has all the good stuff that most people are looking for. Same situation here though, if you don't see anything that you're looking for as I'm scrolling, you have the same options that I just showed you in pre-qualifications where you can accept it, reject it, or request an update. If you request an update, obviously you can ask for additional questions, additional documentation that if they submitted it would also appear here underneath the application. This is also the portion of uh, the software that you would be able to do tenant screening. Tenant screening goes through TransUnion and it's a full credit, eviction, and criminal report. And the tenant gets charged $35 for that as they're filling out their application. If you'd like, that can be an automatic thing and you can turn on auto tenant screening. So as they're filling that out, it goes directly into that workflow. From here, if we accept if we accept the tenant, then they would obviously uh, be able to move into the property. First thing we'd want them to do for that is obviously sign a lease. In order to sign a lease, all of our documents between you and the tenant would be shared in this file here. As long as it's a PDF, they can sign it. We'll sign any any of your leases for you. You can also share older leases, move in photos, videos, whatever you may require. Obviously, they're moved in now. Lease is signed. Next thing we need them to do is pay the rent. So we will show you where we can do that. All the good stuff always hides in settings. If you can't find anything, double check it in there. First thing I want to cover is the accounts that that money goes into. So when your tenants pay rent, you're able to add the account that you want that to get deposited directly into. You can add as many of those payment accounts as you'd like and assign them accordingly to each of your properties, um, multiple properties if necessary, all of them, one, however, you, however it may be required for you. In terms of coming from the tenant, you can allow only to pay by ACH, or you can choose to allow credit and debit cards. Transaction fees are defaulted for tenants in Rent Ready, but you can take them over for whatever reason if you choose. All right. This would also be where we could start to um, 
where we, where we would want to start to keep track of those payments. So those payments can be exported directly into a spreadsheet. You can also export it into a QuickBooks Online file, desktop or enterprise for any or all of your payment accounts through any set of dates that you would like. We also have the availability in Rent Ready to do reporting through all of the individual tabs. So each individual drop down in each column on Rent Ready can be sorted and multiple selected for each. So if I wanted to select, find out the rent report for those three properties for this set of dates, I would be able to export that data right here directly into an Excel spreadsheet. I can then reset those filters and print out another report. The other thing that the tenant's main function is through Rent Ready, other than paying the rent, obviously, is submitting a maintenance request. This is what maintenance requests look like. This is how they would come in from a tenant with the title, a description that you're able to edit and add to. If they had a five second video, they would upload it here and the tenant contact info would also be listed. Requests are able to be categorized as well, status is set, all sorts of things. You're able to also sort these into pending and completed. So at the end of the year, you can check how many, how many leaky faucets you ended up having to repair. The other thing that you're able to do with maintenance and rent ready in general is add teammates. So if you were to add a teammate for a regular maintenance person, you could add this teammate and give them access to only the maintenance tab. So your regular maintenance person could log in, they would only see the maintenance requests and wouldn't see the rents or applications or anything else. If you had a property manager likewise or a partner in general, uh, you'd be able to add them as a teammate with fuller access. The other um, two things that I said I would cover, the um, additional charges that you could possibly get through Rent Ready. One of them we did cover. Uh, those are the transaction charges. If you wanted to take those over for whatever reason. The other two are additional and separate subscriptions that are partnerships with Rent Ready. And those two are our accounting feature and the maintenance coordination feature. Since we were talking about maintenance and we have it up behind us here, we'll cover this one first. Uh, Latchel is a maintenance coordination company. What they would do is answer the phone in both of these plans answer the phone 24 seven and respond to all requests that came through the app 24 seven. If it's an emergency, they would, they would dispatch and make sure it gets taken care of in this one. And they would handle anything and everything from raking the leaves to replacing the roof to turning over the apartment after a tenant moves out. Um, this could be also scheduled maintenance. Uh, they would work within a budget that you set the entire time and you'd have complete oversight throughout the process to take it over at any time um, if you didn't feel that it needed to be handled. Uh, there, Obviously their pricing is listed here. For the full coordination, it's $25 flat fee per month plus $12 per month per unit. Emergency service, same $25 per month flat fee plus the $4 per month per unit. The other partnership that we have is the accounting feature, like I mentioned, it's called REI Hub. It is a fully automated double entry accounting service. And so what you would get um, through using this partnership would be a fully integrated, they would pull in all of your bank accounts, you could um, pull in all of your income that would come through rent ready for all of your properties. The only thing you would have to do would be to set up some of your automations for the other expenses that you have for your properties. And you'd have a complete reporting, account reporting for you. From net income operating, cash flows, um, to some of the bigger stuff like your schedule E for the end of the year, um, along with fixed income asset reporting, the 
keep track of depreciation, the whole nine yards. This is a tiered structure based on uh, number of units, a zero to three, $15 a month, four to 10, $25 a month, 11 to 20 is $45 a month and 20 or more is 99 per month. Those are most of the highlights. Some of my other favorites of Rent Ready include the fact that you can sync up your Google Calendar, create a task list to help you keep track of yourself and send out notifications to all of your tenants, just one of your tenants, however you would like. It'll either be a push notification through the app or an email. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can find our contact info at rentready.com.